What's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Cup Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So a lot of the details for the upcoming global Christmas celebration came out this morning and honestly in my opinion it's looking really really good. Now first things first we gotta talk about the main man of the hour. Of course I'm referring to the Dokkan Fest hit and this guy is pretty much exactly what I expected and by that I mean freaking amazing as soon as i heard that hit was coming for christmas i knew he was going to be an absolute beast he was going to be super hype and pretty much everybody was gonna want to summon for him but the funny thing is that when the news first broke about hit for global a lot of people's initial reactions was oh man hit that's so lame i don't care about hit give me my godita give me my broly i'm completely skipping this banner because you're not stealing any of my stones bandai <laughs> But now that a lot of the details are out there and the super attack is out there, I feel like a lot of the same people are flipping the script a little bit. Now, this is not a I told you so moment. This is not uh, me judging people. I just thought it was pretty jokes. But <laughs> with that out of the way, let's jump into the hit overview. This is his SSR form. You know, the art looks pretty good. We know that he's going to be an extreme tech unit. And once he awakens, he becomes this guy right here, Assassin's Ultimate Technique, time skip, hit. And I love the art for this one. I think it looks super, super badass. And let's take a quick look at what he does. So you'll notice from his leader skill that he leads two categories. We knew that dual category leaders were coming, but we haven't heard anything about the Broly or the Gogeta. I'm sure that both of them will be dual category leaders as well. But right now, we don't have any details about this go those guys. So as far as we know right now, Hit is the first official confirmed dual category leader coming to this game and he's going to lead two different categories in universe 6 and universe survival saga so universe 6 is going to be a brand new category of course comprised of universe 6 characters and he's going to provide them with key plus 3 hp attack and defense plus 170 percent which is a beastly absolutely massive boost that's to all three stats by the way it's not just 170 to attack and 130 to other stuff or 170 to hp whatever right like the other combinations we've seen in the past this is 170 to all three stats and he also leads universe survival saga giving them key plus three hp attack and defense plus 150 percent now we know that universe survival saga is already an amazing category universe six still you know needs to be tested right we're not really sure how good it's going to be but universe survival saga is a proven amazing amazing category that is led by jiren at the moment and this guy gives the same leader skill as jiren or has the same leader skill as jiren in addition to having that 170% to universe 6 category units. So the cool thing about this now is that you can kind of run two categories at the same time since he provides both of these categories with a boost. You can run some universe 6 units that aren't in the universe of Ava Saga and uh, you know vice versa, right? So it's going to be really, really good for people who want to build different kinds of teams, want to build more diverse teams and things like that. So I absolutely love that. Dual category right there. Amazing. His super attack. Cage of Time causes immense damage with a medium chance to stun the enemy. All right. His passive skill is wipe out the target, attack enemies, attack minus 20%, and defense minus 80% for two turns, which is a pretty massive debuff. His He has a high chance to stun the attacked enemy for one turn, and he will get 120% attack when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack plus 80% and attacks effective against all types when the target enemy is stunned. So. Let's break this down real quick. First things first, attack enemies, attack minus 20%, good debuff, defense minus 80% for two turns, high chance to stun the attack enemy for one turn, which is okay, but you're kind of like, do I really care about the stun? But you will care about it later on when you find out what happens when the enemy is stunned, right? Attack plus 120% when performing a super attack, which is already good. Like, that's already going to give him a good amount of damage output, but when the enemy is stunned, he will actually get an additional 80% attack, and his attacks will be effective against all types, which is the same thing as Gogeta. So when the enemy is stunned, he is going to be outputting stupid, stupid high amounts of damage, man. This guy's going to get, well, on paper, it looks like 200% attack, but I'm pretty sure they're calculated separately. So it should be well over 200%, maybe 220, 240%. I'm not the guy to ask for, for these calculations, but because they're calculated separately, it's going to be higher than just 200% and attack effective against all types. So it doesn't really matter what type the enemy is. They're going to be doing crazy damage to them just like Gogeta does. So I absolutely love that, man. This guy's going to be such a beast. I think I saw a calculation on Reddit. I forgot who did it. I think it was, um, I believe it was SSJ Ancient Being. And this guy was like, yo, at 
the free dupe level with his passive active, this guy is going to be doing like over 2.5 million damage with a support. Um, and that's really good. That's with no dupes, by the way. So I expect this guy to hit very, very hard. I can't wait to test him out myself when I pull him. Fingers crossed, hopefully. And uh, yeah, but on paper, he looks really, really strong. And of course, he has the high chance to stun the enemy, as well as a medium chance on a super to stun as well. So that's twice the chance to stun. I believe medium chance is 30% and high chance is 50%. So if your super doesn't get it, uh, get, doesn't get the stun off, then maybe the passive will. And maybe if you have some other units on your team, like Jiren, who can stun as well, then it will make the chances of getting the enemy stunned even higher, right? His links are Experienced Fighters, Cold Judgment, End Fighter, Shocking Speed, Fierce Battle, Words of Nerd 6, and Tournament of Power. So pretty standard links, and they're good links. Like, they're good links. So there you have it, guys. That is the tech hit that's coming, and he is going to be such a beast, man. He's going to be so strong. I, I, I love that. I knew he was going to be good. I wanted him to be amazing, and, um, you know, they... Our wishes were granted. Our wishes were granted. He's gonna be a dual category lead. He's gonna be a very, very hard hitter, and um, he's gonna be just an overall great unit. Now, enough talking about the card itself. I'm sure you guys are interested in actually seeing what the super looks like. So we're gonna pop over to Twitter real quick, and this is courtesy of Kawhi. No, let's pause that real quick. Don't want to spoil it. So we're gonna go to the beginning, and this is. I mean. It's in French because Kawhi is a French data miner, but it's not important. It's really the animation that's really, really important here. Pay attention. It looks amazing. I'm gonna stop talking. Just, just enjoy. Just enjoy. Oh my God. And you know what I love about this too? Aside from the fact that it just looks so good, I also like that it's not super long. You know, some of these animations recently have been like super, super long. And even on 2X, it takes like 15, 20 seconds for it to play out. And it gets a little bit annoying sometimes, right? When you're trying to get through a stage. But this one is quick. It looks awesome. And I also love that little that, that little walk at the end where he's just walking away from, from the guy he just destroyed. <laughs> I just think it's super badass. And yo, LR Gohan. This is the way to walk. This is the, the way you're supposed to walk in your Super Tech animation, all right? I really hope that they use this as some kind of template for LR Gohan's updated Super Tech in the future because this guy is in dire need of an update, man. His Super Tech looks so bad. And I'm sure most of you agree with me, but there you go. We're gonna watch it one more time. One more time. I just love it. I just love it. It's so badass. And it totally represents what Hit is as a character, right? All right, so there you have it. We're done. We're gonna move on. I'm I'm done fanboying <laughs> over this hit. I can't wait for him, man. I'm so excited for him. Okay, so we're getting two new, most likely non Doka FS units as part of Hit's banner. The first one here is this Frost, and this is his SR form. He's an SDR unit, and let's take a look at what he does. So his leader skill is SDR types key plus two, HP attack defense plus ninety percent, and super attack is. Dirty Burst, greatly raises attack for one turn and causes supreme damage to enemy, and his passive, balance of physical strength, key plus 3 for 6 turns from the start of turn, attack plus 120% and defense plus 60% with a medium chance to stun the enemy when performing a super attack. So basically he can be kind of a support for hit because he will give you an additional chance to stun the enemy so that hit can get the second part of his passive off, and he also gets a good boost himself, 120% attack and 60% defense, as well as that 3 key for 6 turns means that he will get his super attack off very very often and he's going to do a good amount of damage as well so I absolutely love that. Next up we got Int Boda Magetta and I feel like a lot of people are going to be very excited about this because I'm pretty sure they were low key fan favorites from DBS. Now let's take a quick look at what they're all about as well. There's the TUR art. I love it. <laughs> and their leader skill is in types key plus 2, HP attack defense plus 90%, super attack is Boda Magetta special, causes supreme damage to the enemy and raises defense by 30% for 6 turns, and passive, tenacious duo key plus 3, attack and defense plus 100%, and guard activated against all attacks when HP is 80% or below. So they seem like a very good card, looks like they're going to be self-sufficient for key at least, and they're going to do a fair amount of damage with 100% attack on their passive, and quite tanky as well because of that 100% defense, as well as an additional 30% defense for every time they super, so after they get a few supers off, this is going to be a very, very tanky unit. As far as links go, they got more than meets the eye, rival duel, 
In Fighters, Tough as Nails, Fierce Battle, Tournament of Power, and Warriors of Universe 6. So there's some iffy links in there, like Tough as Nails, not really sure about that, not really sure about More Than Meets the Eye, but some other ones will allow them to link up with like the Hit, as well as a lot of other Universe 6 units, so it's not bad there either. Both these guys, both the Bodomageta as well as the Frost look like they're going to be very, very good, so I love that. I love the fact that it's not just the main main dual compass unit that you can get hyped about now like they are always bringing at least one or two new units along with the new dual compass unit that are still very solid for example full power super saiyan for goku had the gt goku as well as the cell and the frieza who are all really solid so i love that trend hope bandai continues it and i love the bodomageta and the frost moving on let's see what else we got so next up we got a unexpected but very very much needed awakening for the physical champa like this guy before the awakening he's about to get was one of the worst ssrs you could possibly pull from the unfeatured pool so i'm glad they are giving him a token awakening and honestly yo this awakening is amazing he is gonna be really really good so let's take a quick look so his leader skill is now universe 6 category key plus 3 hp attack and defense plus 120 percent so let's say you don't have the hit you can still run the universe 6 category team fairly effectively with the 120 percent from champa or he also gives physical types key plus 3 hp attack defense plus 70 percent his super attack is sphere of destruction causes supreme damage to enemy and greatly lowers defense and his passive peculiar proposition and now this is where he really shines universe 6 category allies key plus 2 attack and defense plus 40 percent 40 percent and medium chance to attack of attack plus 200 percent which is what he had before but if you look here he previously only had that as his passive he only had attack plus 20 percent medium chance and medium chance is like honestly like 30 percent or something like that which is not very high but now he has that in addition to being one of the best support units in this game now. It's, I mean, if you're running a Universe 6 category, of course, but if you're running Universe 6, he's going to be one of the best support units you can possibly have, or probably the best support unit you can possibly have for that category. And Champa is now actually useful, which kind of blows my mind, but I'm really, really happy for this. If you guys had Champa in the past and you didn't Baba him, then good job, because now he's actually going to be a very, very good unit. His uh, links are, are better as well. He got Fierce Battle. He got, uh, looks like, Shocking Speed as well for the key. And everything else, I believe, stays the same. But those two additions are very much welcome. So I'm happy for Champa. I'm glad that he's finally getting some justice. I'm still looking for, like, a good new Champa card. Like an LR Champa. Maybe Champa and Bados or whatever. But I'll take this for now. I'm, I'm happy with this for now. <laughs> so moving on. We got uh, two SRs that got Awakenings, so this physical SR Boltamo, he awakens into Boda Mageta, and we'll just take a quick look here, so leader skill is damage received, reduced by 40%, uh, passive is defense plus 80%, high chance to reduce damage received by 50%, so pretty much a, just a tank, tank of a unit, if you guys need some tanks for your physical team or whatever, you can throw him in there if you're missing some units. Um, it looks like they also have Fierce Battle, which is very impressive. I did not expect that. Yeah, their links look good. The passive, I mean, as far as tanking goes, is very good. They're not going to do much damage, but you got to keep in mind, it is an SR unit. So there you go. And next up, we have this STR Mageta that also Dokkan Awakens into the same card, essentially, but with some different different mechanics so i believe the art actually let me see real quick the art is the exact same as this dokkan botamo but this one is more of an attack oriented one so passive skill steam burst key plus two and attack and defense plus 70 percent when facing only one enemy plus an additional key plus two and attack and defense plus 30 percent when facing two enemies or more so this one appears to be the better of the two i mean the other one is a better tank for sure but this one can do a little bit of tanking as well, plus um, much more attack. So it looks like this Mageta actually got the better Awakening of the two, even though it's like looks like the same card on the surface. The only difference is the typing. And then once you go into you know, the passive and everything, of course, they're different units. But I feel like they got a little bit lazy there, but they are SR units, so I can't complain too much about that. 
Um, and I'm happy that they are awakening a lot of these SR units and actually making them useful. So that's always a good sign. Always a good sign that they're putting work and putting effort into these SR units, right? So we got the two meta, meta or Boda Magettas <laughs> there. Let's move on to the next thing that we have coming up, which is this World Tournament Reward Cell. So of course that means we're getting a new World Tournament on Global very soon, probably within the next week or two, I'm guessing, probably before the new year, but possibly a little bit after, I don't really know, but soon, soon. It's gonna be announced in the news when the news drops. And this cell actually, for some reason, happens to have the same card art as the LR cells, I believe, 12 key super attack? I mean, I, I haven't used LR cell in a while, so I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure it is 12 key super. And I feel like that was a little bit lazy as well, but you know what, I'm not gonna complain about it because he is a world tournament reward, and he's actually quite solid. So. His uh, passive is Evil Provocation, Extreme Class Allies keep plus 2, Attack and Defense plus 30%, and Super Class Enemies Defense defense minus 50%. So overall, he's just a very good support unit. Very good Extreme Class support unit. Same passive as, uh, I believe the same as Int Meta Cooler, who was regarded as a very good support, right? So the fact that this guy has the same thing is a good sign, and he's actually going to be super useful. His... Super attack is Super Kamehameha, greatly raises attack for one turn, costs supreme damage to enemy, pretty standard, and also a tech type leader, don't really care about that. Um, links are okay overall, I wish he would have had Fierce Battle honestly, but can't expect that from World Tournament Rewards, so there you go, there's the World Tournament Rewards cell, I think he's great. And uh, I think this is the last thing that we have on the docket this perfect sell easy A. So I know a lot of people have been asking for this for a long time. I personally have been asking for this because this guy is an absolute monster of an easy A. Now I'm not gonna go over the details of what he actually does after you get the easy A, but you guys can look that up yourself if you want. Maybe I'll make a video about it later on. But I just wanna let you guys know that tech perfect sell is getting his extreme Z awakening on global as part of the Christmas celebration or the holiday celebration and he's gonna be an absolute beast man if you guys have him then make sure that you get him ready you know awaken him and everything get him ready to be extremely awakened and uh, also two other things I heard where we're getting a new red dragon stone which you actually use to pick one of the extreme Z awakenable units so maybe if you don't have cell maybe you should pick up the cell and if you or miss some dupes maybe it's worth the dupes as well the red dragon stone should be available to every single player regardless if you're free to play pay to play and we also have a blue dragon stone coming up for the blue dragon stone i'm pretty sure it's still going to be a pay to play kind of thing so you have to pay like buy a pack or something like that to get the blue dragon stone so that might not be an option for free to play players but the red dragon stone i would recommend picking up cell if you don't have him because he is such a monster but aside from that you know more free stones from the new EZA as well as a lot of orbs, a lot of Kai's, and all that good stuff. But that's going to do it for today's news update. I'm sure there's going to be more details to come in the future. But for the time being, these are the new units we know that are coming, the new awakenings, and of course the tech hit that everybody's going to want. In my opinion, I think he looks amazing. I know most people kind of changed their minds about the hit as soon as they saw the stats, saw the skills, and the super attack. But I mean, I'm curious. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of him now. Maybe you had low opinions of him and then now you know more about it. You're like, yo, I gotta have him, man. He's sick. Or maybe you're, you're still in the same boat. Maybe you're still like, it's a trap banner. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna, you know, save for Broly and Gogeta. And that's totally your, your, your choice too, man. Like, I'm not gonna judge you for that. But let me know in the comments down below. I'm curious to see what side of that argument people are on right now with all the new information. And of course, in the future, when more information drops about future global stuff, you can make sure, you can be sure that your boy Tiger will keep you posted. So stay tuned for that as well. But that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, if you guys like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all of my latest content. But I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.